How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Whiskier. Today, we're gonna to be heading to a store that's new to me, but recommended by a subscriber and viewer. Shout out to Jason uh, for letting me know about the store, but we are going to Red Rock Liquors. Now, this is about like 25 minutes away from where I live, uh, up north near the town called Manitou Springs, um, and Old Colorado City, so not too bad of a drive, and I've never been to this store. We'll go see what their selection looks like, and we'll see you at the store. Cheers. All right, y'all, so we're here at Red Rock Liquors, about to browse their shelves. It's a pretty awesome selection, and then we're gonna take you into a little secret room. Not so secret, it's open, but here we go. So starting off, I know this isn't bourbon, but Red Breast 12, one of my favorite Irish whiskeys at $59.99. I don't think I've seen it under $60 in quite a few years now. So pretty cool that they have that here. I noticed this too, distilled in Kentucky, left bank. It's a craft and 105 proof, finished in oak staves. Batch, batch yeah batch number one. Ooh, aged at least two years though that's never the best sign in the world when something says that it's a minimum of two it's probably kind of young but it's pretty interesting 56 dollars and then moving down they have their rare breed rye and rare breed barrel string uh barrel proof excuse me 59.99 and 66.99 for the rye whiskey it's a great price for four rows of single barrel 49.99 this again, I've talked about it. It's a pretty great single barrel to get started with. If you're chasing for Blanton's, I know a lot of people are, um, maybe that's why you're watching this video, hoping that you can find something like that at a store like this, but these shouldn't be passed up. They're really, really good, especially for their price. And whenever you can find their floor number, the higher the floor number, the better that the whiskey gets. Same thing with Maker's Mark 101. Pretty low proof whiskey, but $42.99 is also a fantastic price. We'll just talk about kind of things you should be tasting if you haven't already. The old Forrester lineup, starting with 1870, 1910. I really like the 1910 and 1920. Um, somebody recently told me if you mix those together that they're pretty fantastic as well. Russell Single Barrel as well. I do want to point these out. I'm not the biggest wild turkey fan, but I did do a blind one time and it was Russell's 13, two of their batches, I believe. Uh, we had a Russell store pick and one of these standard single barrels and this blew everything away. Like I instantly knew this was the number one for 62 bucks is what they have it here. These single barrels did impress me, I'll say that. And the proof on them is 110 proof as well. Now, one whiskey that I just haven't tasted, but it's pretty standard, you can find it everywhere. I don't know, I just don't know much about the Bullet 10 year. I know I'm not the craziest fan of the regular Bullet Bourbon, but for their 10 year, $49.99 for a 10 year old whiskey, that's not a bad price, but does that mean that it's not the best whiskey? Let me know if you tasted it, what you think about it. Dude, this is, this is the whiskey that started it all for me. Bushmills Original Irish Whiskey, 20 bucks, cheap, Got a little screw cap, a metal screw cap, but I used to go through these things like crazy. And there's some stores that sell the big 175s. That was that was what got me started on whiskey. Up here too, they have the Dexter. Again, the weeded. Those were not the easiest to find a year ago. And I've had a couple bottles since. We found a Dexter store pick up north in Castle Rock. A good buddy of mine, Kent, bought me one. And uh, I wasn't crazy over it, but you really enjoyed it. So I loved it. have you gone back to it since? I have. How is it? It's still very good. Yeah. It's uh, like Knob Creek, but better. And I will say too, the pick was around the same price as the standard, which is really cool. And the cool thing about their Dexter Straight Bourbon, they're finished with 200 year oak. It could be gimmicky, but it's pretty cool. Something that old to have. Woodford Double Oak, as always, is good. This, these New Rift Single Barrels, man. 66 bucks. New Rift Single Barrel Bourbon. And this comes in at 117.2 proof. You've tasted my single barrel that I have. I think I've gone through three now um, since, like just standard New Riff single barrels. They're making some good stuff there. They're doing great things. One thing I can't wait with New Riff is whenever they get a little bit more age to them. Like I did see, if I'm not mistaken, they're coming out with a 10 year product. The older their juice gets, I just can't wait because they're killing it. And their, their facility is just gorgeous. American Woman, this is a locally sourced whiskey uh, from private label distillery. That's where their juices age, but I've talked about them a couple times. I mean, look at the bottle, it's gorgeous. 122 proof, and this one's 92. So for 89 bucks, 122 proof cash stream MGP, that's not bad at all. Old Elk, this is just a blended straight bourbon whiskey. I'm a big Old Elk fan. I really enjoyed their cigar cut and their weeded. I've tried a couple of their stuff and I really am a big fan. How about, don't you like some of the Old Elk stuff that you tasted? Yeah, uh, I tried that cigar cut, the Old Elk cigar cut, yeah. and it's uh, phenomenal. It is money. Knob Creek single barrels for 54 bucks. Jaron and I were just talking, he really enjoys uh, Knob Creek. I'm not crazy 
over the whole Knob Creek lineup, but um, I think it's a solid price. Again, I know why a lot of people like it. 120 proof for 54 bucks, that's pretty solid. Ella Jones and Atticus Jones too. This is one from the Family Jones made up in Denver. Talked about them a couple times. Last month did a tasting with them and I was super impressed by some of their stuff. So on Wednesday, Wednesday night, we're doing a tasting uh, shout out to Colorado Spirits Collective. He hosts a tasting once a month and they got 10th Mountain coming. This is one that I have never had out of Vail, Colorado, 64 bucks. And this one is 92 proof. So we'll see how this holds up to some of the other Colorado brands that I've tried, but I'm excited to taste that this week. Not something you always see is the 1792 bottled and bond just on the shelf. Um, 1792 bottled and bonds, pretty solid. I've kind of found that some of their bottles are just so good, like crazy good. And a lot of them are just hit or miss. Um, they're not the most consistent distillery out there. If you've been looking for bottled and bond, 49 bucks, I would pay it 100 proof whiskey and it's, it's good. Okay, it's good. It's just not the most consistent. And then right next to it, of course, you have your 291 products. They have their barrel proofs for 99, high rye for 99, maple for 99, and then their small batches for 73 and 50. Now, I will also say those are great prices for 291 because that's what you're gonna buy them at the distillery for too. So if you can't make it out to the distillery, this store has their same prices that they have at the distillery, which is kind of rare, kind of unheard of. So that's pretty awesome. I know a while back I talked about this bottle I've still yet to buy one or taste one, but Jim Beam makes a single barrel, 108 proof for 40 bucks. And I can't remember if y'all said it was good or if it was not good. Jim Beam White Label is actually the most popular sold whiskey or bourbon in the world from what I'm told. So I'm very curious to know about these single barrels. I'm just not sure if I'm ready to drop 40 bucks on Jim Beam, you know? And then here you have some Maker's Cash Strength, always a solid bourbon. This one comes in at 112 proof, um, 51.99. But one thing that's kind of cool, if you're looking for one in the wild, this is kind of a slam dunk. So if you notice the wax dips are a little bit different, every now and then I guess the workers are allowed to fully dip one. Um, so pretty cool to see that in the wild. I have found one since I've searched and, and I definitely had to buy it. So I'm gonna leave that one for someone if y'all want it. And then right behind me here, you have a little bit of a Buffalo Trace display, the Buffalo Bourbon Cream. So Buffalo Trace's Bourbon Cream at $29.99. I love this, you love it too. Um, have you mixed it with root beer yet? Yeah, that was the Dude. first thing I did. Root beer floats. And then $39.99 for Traveler's Whiskey, Chris Stapleton and Buffalo Trace. As I'm, I'm sure a lot of you know, they collabed and made this. And then Standard Buffalo at $27.99. So that's pretty much the basics of their regular shelf. Overall, great selection and we're gonna go show you some of their allocation products that they have to offer. All right, y'all, so um, here in the little allocation, little tucked away room, it kind of looks like a um, like a speakeasy almost, if you will, just the nice wooden shelves with the wood. But anyway, you have Widow Jean Decadence, $104.99. That's just about five bucks over MSRP, so not bad. Widow Jean 10, their Paradigm Rye. You have 10 Cup 14 as well. And then some Smoke Wagon to the left right here some uncut unfiltered and their small batch as well also pretty decent prices for those now heaven hill bottom and bond 59.99 ben holiday six year 59.99 if i had to pick out of the two both of these bottled and bonds believe it or not i actually prefer the heaven and hill over the ben holiday this one's just a little too oaky a little bit more nuttiness which i normally get out of heaven hill products but the heaven hill one's great and uh you know, out of everything, this might be the only thing that's a little bit higher in price than the rest is Old Force from 1924. But I will say I'm almost positive there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six total bottles here. Um, one nine nine. If you absolutely love it and you can't find it for the 140, 145, they got six of them here. Okay. And if you haven't found one yet, might want to make a stop. You know, I want to talk about this too. Anybody kind of recognize this bottle? Like the Caribou Crossing, right? I'm not sure what distillery this comes from, but this is Bluestone Manor, 90 proof. I really like the bottle. It's really cool, because I like uh, the Caribou Crossing bottle as well, but 60 bucks on this. And then, look, you gotta show them right here. Blue Spot for 139.99 is pretty awesome too. And that also looks like they have one, two, three, four of these as well. So that's pretty great. Another little bottle and bond, so they have a couple more of these. This John, or this Bowman Brothers, small batch for 49 and look at this i have never 
seen one of these before and that's because you cannot get these in America. I have to figure out how he found this. This is the 80 proof Blanton's with the green label, but this thing is sweet. Like I can't believe I'm actually seeing one in person. You know what I mean? And we'll see if we can maybe make a deal on this. I don't know. We'll see. Moving down, Eagle Rare. Another good a little allocation. This is the whiskey that is just like an everyday go-to sipper. Love Eagle Rare. This is my first allocated bottle that I ever got was Eagle Rare. And I think it was yours too, right? Yep. Yep. Eagle Rare $49.99. Sazerac Rye $39.99. And then boom, Weller 12. And I was told that you can get this for a flat 100. So a flat, flat bill, $100 for this year's Weller 12. And this year's Weller 12 is incredible. I love this year's Weller 12 so much. Like. It honestly has won a couple of blinds now um, out of the Weller lineup that I have. It even beat 107, foolproof, uh, single barrel, but this year's Weller 12 special. 100 bucks for this. So we're going to go see what we can do for this. All right. Let's go. All right, y'all. So we just got done. Jaren, shout out. Thank you for filming for me, bro, as always. Of course. You're the man. That was a pretty cool store, dude. Didn't you think? I, I liked it. They had great prices. There was one bottle in there. Yeah. As y'all saw, that was a little overpriced, but even the manager there said that um, they might come down. On yeah, it. might come down on it a little bit. It was the, the 1924 for 199 but overall, the rest of their prices were pretty pretty solid, man, and a really good selection. I mean, some of that 1792 bottled and bond, um, green uh blue spot you know the iris whiskey i know people love that stuff at cash strength i saw stuff i've never seen before even hey look the weller 12 uh 99 bucks 100 bucks is not the worst that is way under secondary um and a little you know it's over msrp but it's not bad all right for something that you can't find all the time i made a deal guys we got something pretty freaking sweet okay i did pay over msrp for this bottle okay i'm not one to lie and say oh yeah i get it Sometimes you, you just got to do what you got to do, but I've never seen this Blanton's before, okay? Ever. And this is the letter O, not that it matters. But anyway, we got this green labeled Blanton's coming home. Uh, we made a deal at 130. 130 bucks for something you can't get in America. And I'm almost positive that is definitely under secondary as well. So I'm super pumped for this. It's gonna look beautiful on the shelf, look great, and I'm definitely gonna open it and see what this tastes like. If it's any different at all, we'll see. But if I remember correctly, I think the manager said that he got that um, from a trade. Yes. From Australia? Yep, one of his customers goes to Australia a good bit and brought this back to him. This is 80 proof, so this is definitely the lowest proof Blanton's that I've had. But again, I mean, how cool is it? I love the look of it, it looks great. So I think now, and the Blanton, I have a standard Blanton's, I do have a Blanton's gold, and now this green label. So I have those three different bottles from the Blanton's lineup. I'm pretty pumped for it, guys. Like, that's crazy. Uh, really cool store. I'll definitely be back. He was a great My manager. Manager was super nice. Like the way he operated the store. Also, if you're not just into bourbon and whiskey and you're watching this, had a decent tequila um, tequila shelf and their beer, craft beer was like everywhere. So overall, a solid store here. Red Rock Liquors. Thanks for having us so much. And thanks to everyone for still watching these videos. Go ahead and subscribe. Leave a like, comment down below. Cheers, everyone.